We're about to introduce you to a woman named Isabel Lopez, who has taken it upon herself to reclaim the dignity of her grandfather, a World War I hero, who suffered for coming back to his Judaism and being part of the construction of the Kadori Synagogue. very happy to meet you and get a chance to to hear your story so thank you thank you also for me it's very very important yes to speak with you also. so you are here filling the legacy of your grandfather who is one of the founders of this synagogue yes tell us I was seven years old when he died Father's my grandfather name, yes. is Artur Carlos de Barros Basto so explain what happened so he was a uh, Christian, like many people in Portugal, descendants of the Moranos. Yes. He was in World War One, and yes. he was a hero in World War One. Yes, yes, he was a hero. He has been. Um, he received lots of congratulations uh, due to the he, what he has done during the war in France. Why did he get kicked out when he came back? Was he talking about being a Jew during yes. World War One, or this all happened when he came back as a as a veteran it, during the war? He found a rabbi, and when he arrived here, he was completely decided to be a Jew. He married with a, a Jewish girl, and he came to Oporto, and he felt it was important to create the community, to found the community, Jewish community in Oporto, and the uh, synagogue. Began all his work, the, the work of rescue of the Maranos of the Crypto Jews. It was. Did he know his whole life that he was a, a crypto Jew? Did he, he knew? Because many crypto Jews have no idea until now. Because his grandfather told him, they were descendants of uh, crypto Jews, and he was 11 years old only. But he was so interested, and uh, he began to study uh, everything about since the Inquisition and the, the, what happened in Portugal. So why did he get kicked out of the army for becoming, for embracing being a Jew? He was considered immoral to be Jew. The circumcision and all this was the reason why he was separated from the army. For him it was so bad because he was a hero uh, he was very proud to be in the, the army, and he, he was forbidden to to dress the everything. To it, he kept the, the things. When he died, he wanted to go to be dressed as uh, after his death. So the, you buried him in, a, in his in his uniform. Yes. Wow. The only thing we kept it was the, the hat. You taken it upon yourself to clear his name so he deserves the recognition for the great heroic work yeah. that he did not only as a soldier but as somebody who took a chance to ruin his life yeah. to live his yeah. truth my mother died in 2005 and then i began working here the rehabilitation was possible in the parliament and uh, the parliament uh, recommended to the Portuguese government to make the, re the reintegration in the army. The paper, the document saying that he should be a coronel since 1945. What would he be saying right now if he were alive, a hundred years later, yeah. this is his legacy? Yes, I think that for him justice has been done with all our work. Not the reintegration is so important for him, seeing uh, even children here in the synagogue.